we're going on a rescue mission. There's a couple of things that has to be done here and I've already previously started decongesting the area. There's still a few spaces here that are congested and I have to remove some of the plants. The first of which is I'm going to clear out the back, remove all of the blue chalk sticks. And on the other hand, there are a few parts here where some of the plants are crowding and I might need to remove some of the plants. So, more extraction. I think it looks a lot better now. It's more clean and lots of airflow coming around. Apart from decongesting these two areas, I've also been working on other parts of the garden for the past few weeks, and most of it had to do with making space around some specimens that are being overwhelmed by other plants. This is why I tend to call this a, a rescue mission.
I'm thinking of pulling out Javeria affinis, more commonly known as Black Knight. I recently discovered that the growth in the center has been completely destroyed by mealybugs. So I think it's a good idea to pull it out and replace it with something else. And I think something really colorful would be a good replacement for it. The Afterglow would be a perfect replacement. Jelly beans in this area are all too tall now and I need to trim them back. In order to do that, I need to pull all of them out and take some cuttings and stick them back right in. So the goal is to reset the jelly beans and repopulate this area. But before I do that, in order for me to be able to stick them in, I need to top up the soil. Now I have to think about the texture and maybe I should just go with the rubber tinctum. In case you didn't know, it meant I mean these types of jelly beans, the green ones. Unfortunately, most of them are teolated, so I'm going to take cuttings, smaller cuttings. And for the rest of them, I'll be chopping off the heads. Zachary.
here's the new space and you might notice that I've started putting more plants out there's no particular reason for that I just wanted to move them out out into the Sun on this side I I just placed I just laid this aloe polyphyla or the spiral aloe on top of the rocks and I just added a lot more of the other echeverias out here most of them are freelies and maybe I could create a freely section over here I don't know I haven't really thought about it yet special thanks to my patreon supporters that's you Oscarino, Julie Seal and Snap Kui. and for everyone else you could hop over to patreon.com slash seriescapades you can pledge any amount that you feel comfortable with no obligations and you might also want to check out a new series that I started it's about growing oyster mushrooms and no, you don't have anything to fear. I'm not changing hobbies. It just so happens that we were gifted this kit. You'll find the link in the description. It's probably more fun than watching paint dry. <laughs> I finally got to clean up because someone just picked up the chopsticks and the pig's ears today. That was rather quick. Since it's now autumn, one of the things I wanted to do one of the things that I really wanted to do was to tear down the shade structures, but I've been checking out the weather forecast. According to the 10-day forecast from Yahoo, we are going to have another 30-degree day sometime next weekend. So it's either Saturday or Sunday. And that's a bummer. So I guess I have to postpone this plan for another week. And until then, I should be working on other stuff. Although I think it's safe to say that I could remove the shade from the plants along the fence because these plants don't get any sunlight or at least not direct sunlight in the afternoon. The fence provides shade. So I think maybe at least, at the very least, I can just work on removing those for now. And for my next few episodes, I'm thinking that I could probably start working on this area because it's starting to get pretty cold. So I'm really looking forward to the stirring up all of them. All of the Aeonium seem to be awake now. This one for example is starting to turn green. So I won't be surprised if they would be responding well after I transplant them. So watch out for the future episode and I'll see you then. Bye.